Well, everybody, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that NHL 23 is here. You can probably hear the bad news. I thought I was just getting like the seasonal flu. I guess I don't know what happened because I didn't even really get sick, but I lost my voice, which is awesome. Just in time for NHL 23, you know? So we're going to be setting up a custom league here with the lowest possible salary cap. And I think this is going to be a very interesting way... <laughs> Oh no, I mean, this is going to be a very interesting way to start off NHL 23. Let's see what happens here. Salary cap, how low can you go? Let's find out. Okay, salary cap min, let's make it zero. You can have zero dollars. We're also going to decrease the player minimum salary and the rookie salary max, I guess. Pretty cool that you can set up divisions and conferences and everything. This just has potential for videos written all over it. It's really cool that you can even change like the number of games and everything. Like there's just so much you can customize. You can even customize the AHL. Now that's impressive. We still cannot randomize here. So I will go ahead and do it the old fashioned way because I'm not going back to play now. I will stop right about now. San Jose will be the first team of NHL 23 and they are the only team that is, well, the only team that's lost a regular season game. Oh yeah, you can name the conferences, the divisions, cool. We are gonna turn Fantasy Draft on, Owner Mode off. Jabroni, don't even think about it. Not even on NHL 23. Fog of War, nah. And Player Rail's defaulted off. I feel like it was on before. Turning injuries off, oh my word. Turning injuries off is no longer a rule. So that's awesome. It is now a quick setting. Trades and waivers. Only let me know if there are stars involved. Please and thank you. Let's say draft pick number eight. We're gonna get Ovi as our first draft pick. Well, I mean, not Ovi, but Ovi's number. Okay. I mean, if you added two before it, I was right there. Owen Power going to the Boston Bruins at 24. Let's see if there's any. Moritz, let's go, Toronto. McDavid, Matthews, McCarr, McKinnon, Dreisaitl, Vazzy. Yeah, that makes sense. Chicago just taking back Patty Kane. So we have $39 million of cap space. I'm My voice is just out of control. He's 89 overall, but he's only making 4.8. So I'm going to take Lindholm as our first pick because we have to be very cap conscious with every single pick we take. So I think that's a good one. And I get a trophy for it. Devin Taves, 4.1 million, 88 overall. Yes, please. Tristan Jari at 3.5 or Flurry. I think I'm going to go with Jari because he's on my fantasy team this year. So naturally, I just tend to lean that way. Although I do love Flower. Don't get me wrong. Guy is an absolute beauty. Saying no to Bergeron at 2.5 is offensive. So I will be taking him. I feel like a lot of these players like Carlson will probably never get taken. That's almost a third of your cap in one player. Why do they all have to be centers? We have Chandler, 85 overall, making 2.7. I'm still going to take him, but holy smokes. Can we get some wingers here, please? Oh boy, my voice is not happy with me, but I don't care. This ain't gonna stop me, boy. <laughs> Anthony Duclair, 85 overall, 3 million. We're gonna have to really start taking some league minimum deals, but it's still a good one. Let's sort by potential. Shea Weber, 70 overall. Still got high elite potential though. Fill the thrill, 1.5, and then Corey Perry there as well. I'm gonna try to get both of them. That's two wingers, that is huge. Corey Perry is still there, 1 million. A right winger. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, we are really getting to the, the league minimum contracts here. Dylan Genther. Only 73 overall, but guy could still light the lamp. Aiden Fleury is 80 overall. He is making 765k. <laughs> oh no. But yes, we will be taking Hayden Fleury. I'm just gonna talk like this for the rest of the video. I don't know if it's gonna work very well. I'm not gonna do that. There's no way. I can't last that long doing that. Ooh, Matt Savoie. 73 overall. Maybe. Now that's a good contract. Mark Giordano, 800k, 84 overall is going to be our next selection. Oh boy, we could be in trouble here. The man, the myth, the legend. The one that was born in the North Pole. Phoenix Copley, 825k, 81 overall. Let's go ahead and make him our backup goalie. It's weird seeing some of the updated pictures. You know what? I'm just going to go with Genther. Yeah. That's a really good contract. 73 overall, not the best, but it's got potential. It's so weird seeing these players still here. How many centers? We have three centers. I'll just take Matt. Yeah, why not? 73 overall is not that bad. Could be worse. Ooh, Robertson, another centerman. Is he center? Yeah, he's slash left wing. 77 overall and 800k. That is a guaranteed selection from your San Jose Sharks. Brian Rust was an absolute NHL 22 go-to, but... He's making a little bit more now, so maybe not. Can we afford Giryanov? I think we might be able to at 2.9. Yeah, that should be able to work. Let's do it. We already have a million centers. Might as well make it a million and one. David Krejci, $1 million, 84 overall. We're winning the cup in our first fantasy draft of NHL 23. It's just happening. Why is no one taking these guys? I'm so confused. Edler, 750k, 82 
overall. That is a prime selection. So really we just need one more forward and two defensemen and we have six million dollars left okay so we could do a bunch of players at two million theoretically or we could take barabanov at 2.5 and then have to budget one of the other picks yep we needed right winger sue me so we need an average of 1.8 mil per pick we can make that work right we should be able to or maybe not oh 1.85 oh that's threes i think we have to do it right-handed defenseman what do we have we got left left oh no Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need a right-handed defenseman. So on that note, welcome to the team threes, aka Colin Miller. 1.7 million and we need a right-handed defenseman. 1.5. Nudavara and Shen. Either of them right-handed. Oh, let's go, Luke. Andy Green. But there you have it. Our draft is completed. I'll show you who's available still. Look at this. This is crazy. What a cool stipulation. I love this already. Can you do a 48 team fantasy draft? I didn't even think of that. Anyway, sim the entire draft. Yes, please get me out of here. There you have it. The squad new to franchise mode. Um, cool. That's great and all. Don't really care. Yo, that's crazy, but didn't ask. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even be sarcastic because I just sound like a joke. I sound like a joke. Who was it that did that again? Was it Lindy Ruff? It was in fact Lindy Ruff. Let's see what our chemistry looks like. Come on, give me something here. Give me something. Oh, I like this. They show the abilities underneath the name. Cool. Head coach preferred lines. Okay, we get zeros now. Uh, don't remember drafting this guy. Uh-uh. Oh, we want to scratch Dylan Genther, eh? I doubt it. Get in there, bud. I kind of see why you wanted to scratch him, but too bad. He's staying because we have roll three lines anyway. Defensively, Taves and Miller get a plus one. Shen Giordano, zero. And then Edler Fleury also gets a zero. Tristan Jari with three abilities will be our starter. The North Pole legend. Phoenix Copley, our backup. Why does line one have like a red circle around it? I really should have probably read stuff, but I'm too lazy. Our power play is a plus five. Things you love to see that right there. Penalty kills is zero. You can also set up the... Wow, this is really cool. Well, there you have it. There's our roster. I'm going to predict a 48 win season. We're going to do well. That's probably going to be wrong. I'm going to go ahead and simulate up to the regular season and then we can get started. Look at all these free agents and look how little money they want. We have $1.5 million of cap space. We might actually be able to sign someone pretty good. Yeah, like we could get Damon Severson here. 85 overall. And he's a right-handed defenseman. And we could also get Matt Dumba. We could even get Neil Pionk. I'm offering him less than what he wants, but hey, I don't think you're getting any other offers soon. I think I can add a lot to a team that's destined for a good run in the playoffs. What a legend. They changed the button to do roster moves and best lines and stuff like that. And it's really throwing me off. But anyway, we're going to call up Neil Pionk and send down someone that is scratched. Um, I know you are for sure. 450k. How about that? Yeah, let's go ahead and make that transition. I meant to say transaction, but I guess that still sort of makes sense. You could make an argument anyway. Also, now that I got rid of that guy, they're putting Genther in. So that's elite. Defensively, we got Taves and Pionk plus one. Miller, Giordano, Edler, Shen. Okay, well, that works. This is our lineup. Let's do it. Where, oh, where is the trade deadline? There it is. Okay, Seattle will be our last game. Let's start the simulation and see how we do. Hopefully well. Update. We're mediocre. I feel like I have to do that though. A 48 team fantasy draft, that would be fire. I also didn't name the division, so they are actually just called custom division one through four, respectively. Also another update, we're not mediocre, we're actually filthy. I guess in other sad news, the beard's gone, but it'll be back, just wait. All right, I'm starting to think I might have undershot at 48 wins. We might do even better than that. In fact, if we don't do better than that, I would call that a complete collapse because we are at 45 wins at the trade deadline. Let's go ahead, see who's available. I'm kind of curious with this cap sip. Oh my word. I can't even talk. What I was trying to say is I'm curious to see who's going to be available under the constraints of this cap stipulation. So let's go ahead and make ourselves. Well, no, let's keep our current block and enter. Find out who is available. Wow. Guess they weren't too happy with that pick. Kairou also available. What the heck? Cole Caulfield is available here. 84 overall. 790k. Kairou, 89 overall. Oh, who traded? St. Louis had a trade. Okay, yeah, that's a decently big trade, I suppose. However, I am not looking to trade, so I will be leaving the trade deadline. But it's cool to see. Toronto is placing Nick Jones on waivers. Is he a star? I'm pretty sure I turned on stars only. He's not really a star. Look at that. 45, 18, and 5. Sim the rest of the season. We are on fire. We're already at 49 wins, so my prediction was wrongo, but I don't care. I would rather be wrong that way 
than have had, you know, guessed way higher than we were gonna get. Oh my word, can we get 55? President's trophy? We won the division by a lot. Eight points up on Calgary. And if we go to the entire league, yup, six points, put us ahead, 70.7 .7 point percentage. We won the presidents. Oh my days, the 21st place Dallas Stars make it in 19 LA and 17 St. Louis. And then the 14th, <laughs> that's brutal. It do be like that sometimes though. David Krejci led our team with 74 points. Phil the Thrill had 72, great number. Same with Bergeron. Taves had 68. He's gotta be up there for defensemen with 68, for sure. Lindholm had 65, Perry put up 56, Duclair 52, Barabanov 52. Jari did phenomenal, 49, 18 of five, five shutouts and a 916. Phoenix, not so hot. Jari actually led the league significantly. Wow, he was 12 wins up on Ned. Ned did have a 925, but he also played. Oh, you know what? He played a lot of games too, so never mind. Great season out of Alex, no doubt. Okay, I was wrong. We got two defensemen with 88, Gerard and Hughes, and then we got Carlson with 86, Fox 85, same with McCarr. Miro put up 80. I feel like in NHL 22, it was very uncommon to see even one defenseman with point a game. So I guess maybe they shifted some stuff or it could also be related to the draft stipulation of the salary cap, who knows. Kyle Connor almost put up 120, he had 51 goals. Kane was 63, and this man was available at the trade deadline. ADV put up 116, Marchi 104, Kucherov 103, McDavid 102, Kirill the Thrill 100. But we still have the first round curse in NHL 23. Let's find out. The LA Kings, our round one opponents. Oh no? Okay, that's, no, 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 no. Yes? Oh my word, you had me. They had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Next up, we have the Calgary Flames in the conference semifinals. That's a good start. Oh no? Oh yeah. Conference finals time, the St. Louis Blues. How will this one end up? We're getting wrecked. Oh, we, no, we, ah, oh, that sucks, whatever. Still, you know what? I'm happy with that. Our first draft on NHL 23 and we got the President's Trophy, a conference finals. I'm not upset about it. Bergeron, what a lad. 17 points in 19 playoff games. Let's check out some of the other players. We got 16 from Lindholm, 13 from Krejci and Giryanov. Jari played all right. 904, 293, not great, but you know. Markstrom was the Leafs goalie. He had a 938. What a playoff run. 187 GAA. Defensively, Girard had 20 points and then Moritz and Latang both had 18 and they were both playing for the Leafs. Okay, so I want to go check out the Leafs full roster, but I'm starting to see why they're sick. Nate Mack put up 29 points in 26 playoff games. Stamkos went up 28 in only 19 playoff games. That's impressive. Couturier was point a game. Cooch 25 in 19 and Barkov 23 in 14. 21 in 14 for Tarasenko. Where did Toronto finish in the league? They finished... Oh, okay, there we go. They were 10th. Let's have a look at their roster here. So they had Mott, Larkin, and Reinhardt. Kempe, Kapari, and Glass. Okay, all right. I mean, Moritz and Latang are good. Same with Larkin and Reinhardt, I guess. And they had Markstrom. Okay, fair enough. For the awards, Toronto wins the Stanley Cup. We knew that. President's Trophy. Santa Where's the other two? Am I missing something? Oh, maybe they don't hand them out in the custom league because you could do... Okay, makes sense. That checks out. Kyle Connor gets the Art Ross and the Hart. Makar with the Norris, Kane, Lady Bang. Shane Wright takes home the Calder. Latang gets the Conn Smythe. Jari with the Vesna. Jennings goes to Ned. We've got that guy with the Bill Masterton. Belanger takes the Jack Adams. Barkov with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay to Kyle Connor. And the Rocket Richard goes to Hattrick Kane. Oh, they changed that up quite a bit. Which again, I guess they have to. It's got to be kind of dynamic for if you add more teams. But it's pretty cool. Toronto, your Stanley Cup champions. I only see one sweep. And it was Seattle in the first round. But yeah, I'm going to try to make more videos. I don't know if my voice will allow it. But I'm going to try to force it and see what happens. So hopefully it's not too distracting to you guys. It might even be kind of funny. I don't know. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to getting some more NHL 23 content your way. I'll see you soon.